Hello, Griffin Wildcats. Dr. Richardson here. I'm very happy to be here with you today and um, go over this activity with you and to spend Fast Forward Friday with you. So um, today's activity is centered around you. It's called The Great Discovery. And if you don't know this by now, I hope you're going to learn this, but you guys are amazing. And uh, we know this about you, but this is some time for you to discover who you are, your talents and your abilities and the things that you like to do. Uh, your teachers, your administrators, your staff, you're the whole reason why we are here. And that is you and how important and valuable you are. So hopefully this activity, again, like I mentioned, will help you to know who you are. I got this activity from the, se the Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. If you are at that point where you want to start looking at some choices and some decisions that you're making now, you're realizing, you know what, I need to make some adjustments. I need to make some changes because I want to I want to influence my future. I want to move in a different direction than how I'm how I am now. This is a really good book to guide you in that process. Uh, it's, I highly recommend this book to help you to get that focus, to learn some really valuable skills to get you moving towards your future. So let's get started. We're gonna do our opening circle. This is a fun little game. I know you guys have played this many times. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. So this is where you think of three statements of your, about yourself. Two of the statements should be true and one statement should be false. So you guys are gonna guess which statements are false. Let's see how well you know each other. So we're gonna get started with this activity as I mentioned. This activity is designed to help you to know yourself better. You're gonna write your answers in your career journal. One of the skills that is critical for almost every job is writing, being able to uh, get your thoughts across on paper. So this is an excellent opportunity for you to not only know yourselves, but to practice that, in, that valuable skill. When you finish, you're gonna have a better idea about what inspires you, which leads to motivation what you enjoy doing, whom you admire, where you wanna take your life. This is gonna help you to have a better idea about that. Now there's gonna be a series of about 10 questions and they're pretty deep questions. So I think probably the best way to go about, the one way to go about this and to me is the best, but I will let you as a class decide how you wanna do this. But um, I'm gonna read the questions out. I'm going to read the questions as we go through this activity. And I think in your journals, it might be a good idea just to write the prompt. And then when you have time to go back and answer the answer each of the questions and put a lot of thought into these questions, because it's really going to give you a lot of insight and direction for your future. So let's begin. So Think of a person who made a positive impact or difference in your life. So think about what qualities does that person have that you would like to develop? So for example, I'm gonna answer this first one. I'm not gonna answer all the rest of them because uh, I think I don't wanna influence too much about what you put down. But for this one, I would say my mom, she has a very, she's had a very positive difference in my life. What qualities does she have that I would like to develop? My mom has phenomenal perseverance. She, even though something may be really difficult, she, I, I don't hear her complain. Or, she just does it. She just gets it done. I just really admire that about her. Imagine 20 years from now, you are surrounded by the most important people in your life. Who are they? And what are, and what are you doing? So are, is this a potential family? Is this like your, your boss or is this customers or are you a famous um, actor or are you, you know, what are you doing? Like, what would you like these people? What would you, what type of people would you like to be surrounded by? Now, this question makes me a little nervous because uh, I'm scared of heights, but I try not to focus on that too much. If a steel beam six inches wide were placed across two skyscrapers. For what would you be willing to cross? A thousand dollars, a million dollars, 
your pets, your family, fame? What would what do you value? If you could spend one day in a great library studying anything that you wanted, what would it be? List 10 things you love to do. It could seriously be anything, video games, dance, rapping, Pinterest browsing, eating, daydreaming, anything that you absolutely love to do. Describe a time when you were deeply inspired. Again, I know I'm going through these questions pretty quickly. Teachers, you know, you can always pause the videos, but um, again, it might be an, an interesting idea just to write down these questions. And I'm gonna send, uh, this is a PowerPoint, so teachers can move through this on, at their own pace as well. So five years from now, a major news site is going to do a feature piece on you. And they want to interview three people you're close to. Who are they? And what would you want them to say about you? Think of something that represents you a flower, a song, an animal, why does it represent you? If you could spend an hour with any person who ever lived, who would that be? Why that person? What would you ask? Name your talents. And these are strengths. These are things that you are um, you're really good at. So everyone has more, one or more talents. Which of the talents listed below are you good at? So as I read these, you can write them down or again, as I, as I said uh, previously, your teachers can pause it. But um, these are some different talents. So write down the ones that you feel that you're good at. You're good with numbers. You're good with words, creative thinking, athletics, making things happen sensing needs, mechanical, artistic, working with people, memorizing things, decision-making, building things, accepting others, predicting what will happen, speaking, writing, dancing, listening, singing, humor, sharing, music, trivia, I just listed a few here. There's so many others that are out there. And if there's something that I didn't list, please write it down. Because I know you guys are all talented. So now we're gonna put it all together. This, the great discovery activity that you just completed gives you a better idea of who you are. And it's the first step in writing your own why statement or personal mission statement. So a why statement is a personal mission statement. It's a motto that states what your life is all about. It's your reason for being. It's, it's what motivates you. It's what gets you up in the morning. It's what keeps you going when things get hard. It's that hope. It's, it's who you are. It's what inspires you. And it's a roadmap for building your life. So now we're gonna do our closing circle. And I really would like you to, to really think about this before you answer. Name one thing that you learned or you discovered about yourself from the activity. Name one thing that you want to work on over the next couple of months. And how can this activity help you to write a why statement or a personal mission statement? What did you find from this that was inspiring that can help you to write that statement? Because I, I feel like that would be a really good activity or challenge for you guys to do, to find out exactly what does a why statement or a mission statement look like, and then putting it together. So I am so grateful that I got to spend this time with you, and I hope all of you have a good weekend and stay, stay healthy.